ride. Hey, YouTube, welcome back. Check this one out. And this thing goes way up here. There we go. Right up here in between several other trees. We got some maples, some spruce. Uh, but this area that we're looking up into right now is going to be our drop zone. If you can see here, yes you can. This stem comes up and everything's leaning out to my left here. And we're going to drop everything down here in front of the lean. And bring it all right down here on the ground. Stack up all the logs here. All we're doing is chipping the brush. But I don't want to just bomb anything because we're on a slope here. Right next to the house. We got some understory structures. We got Bambi. So I'm going to get some rigging set up here. We already took down one tree on the other side of the property. I got Jay working on that now. He'll get all that cleaned up. I'm going to get the porter wrap on the tree. Uh, clear some room on the bottom. Work my way up, start clearing some brush, set a block, and we'll start rigging. Uh, that's right here and then I'm gonna put because uh, we're gonna be rigging some bigger logs too I'll put this block on there this blocks for half inch or even five eighths rope but all we need today is half inch and nothing that big Tie this off with a cow hitch with a half hitch, or a better half hitch is what they call it. And just because we got plenty of rope, we'll back it up with a second half hitch. Because why not? Tuck the tail out of the way. Here, let me show you what this looks like. So, for anybody that's a tree guy, you already know this, but this is just for anybody that doesn't. So this is our porter wrap. It's basically just a friction device. So as we rope material off this tree, instead of trying to muscle it all by hand, this controls that. That's the easiest way to explain it. And the other piece I'm using, we got this impact block. This will go up in the tree with me. Rope goes through here. This will go around the tree. It gets choked off. Put it through one of these holes here. Oh, sorry. Like that. That's around the tree. That hangs down below it. And you just tuck this tail out of the way somewhere. So let's go get that set up. Hey, first thing we got to do here, we got to make some room. I got this little stem, comes off the side here, and that's about all the stem there is besides some brushy crap at the top. So we're going to get this out of our way real quick.
about to send you guys for a ride. All right. Here's all I was after. Let me show you this. Oh, you guys are over here this time. What's up? Usually my camera's on the other side. That's better. All right, let me flip you around. All right, we'll clean all this brush up so we got room to work. But that came off right here, and that was cluttering up this space. So now all we got is just a little brush up top, and we'll start logging these things out here, probably five, six feet long. We're going to stack it all on the ground right here as it comes down. And that's going to be some fun. So let's get at it. I forgot to record anything, but top's out. We're about halfway done chunking this. I got Jay sending up the big saw right now. So we can go. I hope so.
go clean up some brush. It's eight o'clock, we gotta hurry.